Are the papers that you want to print for your crafts not up to par for your project? Do you wonder how to print those 12 by 12 inch papers with a normal household printer? Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Tina, I am head of design of Victoria Designs. In this video I hope to share some simple but useful printing tips for crafters. Basically I want to encourage you to discover the possibilities of your printer. I'm going to show you what the basic possibilities are with my printer. Of course it's not possible to show you every possibility of all printers in the world, I only have one. I'm using a Mac and a Canon printer MG7750. We bought that printer two and a half years ago for about 150 years. Euro, that's about 170 American dollars. This printer isn't available anymore, but I'm sure Canon has some follow-up printers. Very quickly, if you're into paper crafting like I am and you haven't subscribed yet, click that button. And now let me show you those simple but effective printing tips. Yeah, those. First of all, check if you have enough ink in your printer. Like you see here, the magenta level is way too low. So now if I want to print something pink, the colors won't be as good as they should be. Also, take very good care loading your paper tray. Make sure the paper is as centered as possible and that it cannot move around. I opened this image in preview, that's a standard image viewing program on a Mac. Printing wise it only has limited options, but that's why I chose to show it to you this way. On the screen there's a beautiful paper in a letter size, so 8.5 by 11 inch. Myself I only use A4 paper, so let me show you how to get the most out of this. And this also works the other way around, so if you would find a beautiful A4 page somewhere and you want to print it on a letter size sheet. Now first First, I'm going to push print and there my printing options appear. Because this is a letter page, it is a bit wider and shorter than an A4 page. You see the white bands on top and on the bottom. Now normally I used to print these like they are and then just cut everything off. But I discovered you can do so much better. So by default fit to page is marked. And you see I use an A4 sheet in my printer. And I'm going to play with the print percentages. So now it says 94% to fit the whole page on my A4 sheet and I'm going to make that bigger. Let's say 100, you see? If I set it to 100% I still have narrow um, white spaces on top and on the bottom. So I'm going to set it to 107 and it's almost completely filled. But you see it has some margins all around and I only just recently found out that I can print borderless with my printer. So if your printer can do that, please use that option. Let me show you how I do it here. So in my printer format, A4 has been selected, but if I hover over the A4, I have the option to click A4 without border. And hello, do you see that? The borders have disappeared. And if I click print like this, let me show you what a beautiful page I have. No more trimming. Now how about those 12 by 12 inch papers? They are way too large to print with a normal household printer. Now how do you use them if you still want to print them? I have a very beautiful 12 by 12 inch paper here. I'm gonna choose print and my printer options appear again and you see the square page is right there in the middle and two wide borders above and at the bottom and I can just print it like this then I would have them um, about 8 by 8 inch square that I can print and cut and use for my crafting but you can do more so let me rotate this and now you see this is a very basic program to print your pages with because I can't even move it around I can't even put it on the top or the bottom or whatever uh, it just stays in the center but perhaps your program that you use to print your items can do so much more so I encourage you go find it go see if you can move it around move it to the top etc to save some paper so I can just enlarge it again now it's 67% and let's see if I put it to 100% where I will be. And you see it, yes, my whole page is filled. But instead of searching how large you want it, you can also click, or I can also click, fill 
your whole page and normally that is possible. So there you have it, it's as large as possible. But you see the white margins are all around. I'm going to use this super nice feature again. I'm just going to go for the A4 without border and letter pages can also be done without border. And let's see how this looks when print. And there we have it. Of course, pieces are cut off, but this would still make a very nice background paper. And I have another nice feature, especially for journal makers who love their pages to be more horizontal. Let me show you. So I'm going to print again. I'm going to the print options. I'm going to choose my A4 without borders, borderless. And I'm just going to put two pages on one sheet and there they are, two next to each other. And I'm going to enlarge them a bit, like 76% uh, to fill the whole page without any margins. And let's see what it looks like when it's printed. And there you have it, two beautiful pages that are vertical and now they're just next to each other. And if I fold the page in half, I can make beautiful signatures with this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm well aware that probably everyone has another type of printer, but I hope you still got some tips from this video. If you do, please give us a big fat thumbs up. And if you have some more printing tips, please share them in the comments below because I only know what I know, of course. And all that I have to say now is that I wish you an awesome day. See you next time. Bye.